There were a lot of firsts today and all bring new hope of life returning to normal in Chicago for the summer and beyond. Here's CBS 2's Dana Kozlov. These young musicians are more than ready to put the pandemic behind them. 600 members of the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra spent the day performing together for the first time in about a year. I miss the sun, the air, just the people, yeah. 11-year-old Akshara Rajan and 9-year-old Tessa Mealy were among the young violinists. They say just being immersed in the music and around their friends and off Zoom makes all the difference. I feel happy and I feel excited. It makes me play harder. We're still masking. The kids are in um, bell covers to cover their instrument and then mask, mouthpiece masks too and all masks. So we're, we're being real cautious. All performed outdoors on the same day Navy Pier opened for business indoors after being closed since September 8th. People swarmed the pier and swarmed many restaurants and neighborhoods days after Chicago health officials announced fully vaccinated people would no longer have to wear masks in most spaces. However, capacity limits are still in effect, although vaccinated people don't count. And it's up to each venue to decide if it wants masks worn or not. While hordes of people were clearly outside enjoying the new mask guidelines and, of course, this beautiful weather, there was another hopeful nearing the end of the pandemic significant event taking place that is one of the first if not the first indoor performances in a theater with an audience a and a ballet dancers took to the stage for the first time since 2019 at chicago's athenaeum theater in lakeview co-founder alexei kremnev says getting back to indoor shows is not only good for the performers but crucial for the city it brings jobs it brings excitement, it brings opportunity, and it brings a lot of hope. It's again for the future. And on this sunny musical day, that hope seemed very much alive. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Welcome, Sight.